Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. In the previous episode, I can't remember. What did we do? Paradox. We built this Paradox with some great stuff. We got um, a Roboros with the rocket launcher. Kind of a weird combo, but do you know what? I really enjoyed it. It, it, was, it was weird, but it was fun. And obviously that's not really something we get that often. I think this time around I'm going to play as the bullet. I'm going to put on his little bunny suit. I think we're going to do a rainbow run. It's been a little, a little bit of time to do a rainbow run. So I think it might be just about time to get one of those going. Hop down and basically we'll be going to all the floors and trying to get as many items as we can. Uh, building up a little, a little bit of rainbowness. I've just uh, come hot and fresh off of... Casting. Oh, what the hell's this? Mimic, that's the mimic whistle. That's the handgun. Which, if I remember correctly, is a rocket launcher. I'm just gonna take that handgun. <laughs> it's a rocket launcher that fires like fingers. It's it. Whatever. It's cool. But yeah, I've just come hot off of um, doing the second day of casting, uh, which went a whole lot better than the first day. Whoa! This thing's well, well powerful. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, basically. First day of casting, League of Legends. I know nothing about League of Legends, or very little, so I was very, very lost. I was going to have a chat with Nick from the Discord and learn the game, but even that wouldn't have helped. Like, honestly, no idea whatsoever. I love this gun, by the way. Oh my god, it's reloaded so long, though. Wow. Um, but in the second day, we moved over... God damn you, Bowler. We moved over to um, actually doing... Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, which I know a lot better, and it was so good. I really enjoyed it. The games were great. The actual um, players were awesome, and yeah, it was a really fun day. Obviously, uh, I wasn't casting or anything like that, but I was like doing player interviews and welcoming everyone back and all that sort of stuff. It was really, really enjoyable. So, technically, I should just do this. Yeah, gun dropping's so powerful on this thing. We are definitely going to run out of ammo before we get to the boss, though. That is... Without a shadow of a doubt happening. So, Ancient Hero's Bandana is going to be a must pick for us, really. A Roboros as well. If we see a Roboros, I'd definitely pick that and take it for this gun. Are we using more than one shot? More, more than one ammo per shot here? Um, I need to figure that out. Right, let's just drop that. There you go. 25 bullets actually might be enough. It really depends. It really does depend. What's he going to do? Where's he gone? He's up here. Okay. I am going to, in fact, take out these barrels here before they get me in a lot of trouble. No, that is only firing one bullet per shot. Okay, I thought maybe it was firing more. I felt like I was going through the bu bullets quite quickly. But then at the end of the day, this gun does only have 50 bullets, so makes sense. Right. You need to stop what you're doing, son. Very offensive. Quit. The reload... It's killing me. Oh my god, that bullet definitely would have hit me if I hadn't have killed him with that shot there. We're coming out of this with just a tiny bit of ammo left. And of course, we get the flawless and we get ammo as well. Let's see if we can make our way down to our oubliette here. I'm going to use the sword uh, just for clearing rooms. This, this, That thing definitely seems like it's going to be more of a boss killer. Still though, it's a very fun room clearer. In fact, it reminds me of the RPG thing we had going on um, in the last run. Just not with infinite ammo. Yeah, and it's actually a little bit better than the RPG. In fact, all we need to do now is find our uh, find our oubliette, wherever that is going to be. Should be this. Should be somewhere near here because yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, when you find the barrel, you know you found it. Cool. Don't find my barrel. My barrel. There you go. Got him. Boop. Wait, what? There you go. And good, it's attached to a room we've already discovered. We don't have to do too much wandering around this floor. Head straight down to the next one. Get ourselves another free chest. It's what's great about rainbow runs. The need to full clear kind of goes. You just get to have fun with the weapons and items that you take. So Ancient Heroes Bandana is going to be one we're looking out for here. Obviously, um, other room clearing guns are going to be really good too. Um, Shadow Bullets is interesting. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to stack it up though with low ammo guns and just absolutely, absolutely go crazy with some, some low ammo guns because that's just fun. But getting to use guns like this is so good and it really incentivizes Ancient Heroes Bandana later and I think that's just really fun. Getting these guns that you don't get to use very often, it's always fun, always fun. And getting ammo there, even better. Free shots, but look at that, it's just beautiful. You can hit a few enemies in one shot. Most of the time, it clears the entire room. 
Not always the entire room. Oh, we did find a secret room here as well. Hey, it's the baby one. We found the baby secret room. Now, what I should have done there is I should have actually uh, left that ammo there and see if it functions the same as normal secret rooms. Normal secret rooms, the ammo will not... Oh, my God. The ammo will not disappear um, because it's a secret room. It will not be stolen by the rat. I wonder if it works the same as that. I bet it does. Functionally, it still classes as a secret room, so I would expect it to work the same way as a secret room. But I do not know how Apache set it up, so maybe I'm wrong. Did you just clear that entire room? Not quite. We left one little boy uh, sitting there on his lonesome. Okay, nothing really want in there. Got to remember, we don't really need keys for anything anymore. If we go to rat floor, we need one for that. But other than that, we really don't need one. God damn. God damn you, Bowler. I don't know why. That, that, that little dude should definitely be called Rita. Or should say something like, whenever you start a run, should say something like, this is going to be a banger supreme. Got a call out to Rita, my boy. Like... He came up with the whole idea of Rainbow Runs. I was, I was mentioning this, this on the last Rainbow Run I did. And it's just such a shame that he didn't get the shout out he deserved. It's a really unique uh, idea for a game mode. And came up with it all on his lonesome. And got absolutely no credit. I mean, I really think... I've said this in the previous episode as well. I really think it is due to the devs not knowing that he was the one that originated it. Because there was a lot of people doing Rainbow Runs at the time. that Like the devs were assigned to add it in. The when actually sure on its origin. But Rita has been, like, his channel had been doing it way, 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 like, years before anyone else was doing it. Or at least a year before other people were doing it. I'm enjoying using this as a room clearer, though. Don't get to see this very often. It's very fun. There you go. And we'll keep getting ammo for it as well. Just keep filling it, boy. Just keep filling it. I love it. Even if I'm only killing one enemy, to me, that's success. A lot of the time, though, if it's a small room like this, it kills almost everything, or at least one full wave. Um, then we can go straight onto our boss. I'm going to use the handgun still. Handgun is really fun. And it's very strong. For the amount of fire rate you get, very good. Very good indeed. So I'm going to be gun dropping with it, because why not? Gun dropping's too strong with this thing. I mean, in fact, I might as well just go and drop now while uh, while we're waiting. Get the ammo back up. Have a full magazine ready to go. Ready for this boss of bosses. But yeah, it's doing good work. It should have just about killed this guy by the time we run out of ammo. Just about. Actually, just more than just about. I lie. It should be far more than just about. There you go. But yeah, gun dropping. It's it's a it's a cool trick, but yeah, it's it's incredibly strong in this game. I mean, you, you can you can actually do it with with uh, in in Borderlands as well. I saw uh, I was watching some speedruns of Borderlands too, and it's actually a trick that gets used in speedrunning in that game as well, which is kind of bizarre that two games have the very very similar tech and they're two entirely different games. Right, we'll take ammo for this bad boy, move down to the next floor. Pretty excited to see what we get here. I'm really hoping for something that synergizes well with the weapons we have. Like I said before, though, Ancient Hero's Bandana is the best of the best. I won't be taking Clone this run. I did get, I did take Clone on the last one, so I think Clone's going to be a no-no for me. And I'm going to take the AWP again. I'm going to be doubling down on those low ammo, high damage guns. They're just oh so fun. They're just oh so fun. I love them. I love them a lot. I'm on Terra Mode as well. In case you haven't noticed, I've been sticking with Terra Mode pretty much ever since we unlocked it um, I'm, I'm kind of accustomed to it now it's part of the difficulty of the game that i enjoy i think that without it the game is a little too easy um apart from when you're playing challenge mode that is still going to haunt me forever got him okay should be able to kill both of these in one shot no the, the collateral it didn't come through not a single collateral to be had very very sad Okay, and here we are at our shop. The only thing it's got for us, really, is that rat key. Um, even if I, I might even purposely fail the rat fight and just get the extra chest. The rat items tend to be quite powerful. So, maybe we'll just go with, um... Maybe we'll just go with going down to the rat floor to get the chest and then failing on purpose. Because you still get the chest and we get to get into the next floor a little bit faster. And I think that would be, be nice. I think, I think people would be... 
a-okay with that, and unfortunately, I completely forgot about the Abbey. Again, even on a run where it matters a lot, I completely forgot about the Abbey. Damn. Damn, it feels bad to have amnesia. Right. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Ah, you stole something from me, Bowelia. You. you chunky boy. I mean, he's, he's, he's a cute guy, but he's, he's kind of a pain in the ass. Right, we'll go with this thing for this fight. Oh, yes, especially on something like this. Anything that hits multiple segments wrecks this guy's shithole. So, love it. Also, it takes out all of the uh, the things that give him more health without even really trying. Like, that one just spawned. But you see how many segments we've taken out from him? He's not going to be able to shoot in a moment. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. That's what I like I to see. Get an extra piece of armor on top of the one we've already got. Head down to the next floor. We'll buy the rat key before we go there. Just in case we feel like taking a trip down that way. Now, I wonder if the new custom floor added by Apache's mod will actually add an extra chest. I assume it will. I assume the way that it, the way that it functions is it does just, just check that you've started a new floor and works like that. Um, we got duct tape here. Which is definitely interesting. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting. But I think what's more interesting is if we go with Ring of Triggers. And if we can get an active item coming up, that'll be pretty crazy, I think. Let's go with the, uh, the hand. The hand of doom. Let's try this bad boy out. Got him. Got him. Yeah, this is actually probably our most applicable room clearer right now. Our other things are quite boss-centric. Ow. I did get hit there because of my stupidity. Can actually begin firing again before the reload animation finishes. Crazy stuff. How did I fail that shot there? Damn, I, I just absolutely whiffed that there. Oh, wrong gun. It's okay, I killed him with it anyways. Got him. It's alright. It's okay. Just look out for rat room. Gotta be looking out for the rat room. Oh, you're still alive. Sometimes I'm surprised by some enemies that live from this gun. Like, this does a lot of damage in one shot. Come on, boys. You ought to be dying in a hit. But yeah, this thing... Or, in fact, the railgun with ring of triggers. Shit gets bizarre with them things. Again, you're surviving shots from a finger gun that I really can't, can't explain how you're surviving. Really makes no sense to me. That mushroom is raving it out there. And the other one's dead. This is always a really tough room. Luckily, the guy didn't jam the uh, enemy... He wanted to jam. He jammed the one closest to him instead. That actually helped us out massively. What we got here? Yay! An NPC that gives us nothing. I really do think the NPCs should still sell stuff in this. Because the rat fight still gives you items. And the NPCs are rare enough that it's fine. And you can't use your money on basically anything else apart from ammo. So I really don't see the point in not letting NPCs sell you things. Like, for the most part, even if you save all of your money, you're only able to buy, like, one or two things, and it's never going to be anything that wins you a run. In fact, the Rainbow Run items are going to win you the run, so I think it's absolutely fine. Take that. Where's our rat room? We still haven't found it yet. Unless I've gone past it, in which case I'm a moron. But I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Be very cautious not to. So I'd be I'd be annoyed if I did. Bit of armor there. Should be this room. Nope. I've probably gone past it then. Oh, nope, it's this room. And there's a turkey in here. Get it for the ammo. Take it for the ammo. Okay, these guys going down quick. At least the fire rate of this kind of supports it's slightly lower damage. Damn it. There you go. Can use a rat key on there. Let's get in there and use our blanks while we forget. In fact, do we even need to do the boss? We'd get a flawless for it. 
But it's a lot of ammo that we don't have right now. Yeah, let's just skip the boss. Let's just skip it. We don't need that boss. We don't need that flawless. We 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 just we chilling. We doing fine. It could end up just being a waste of uh, a waste of ammo and possibly health as well that that we just don't need to do. We're very strong right now. I'm really hoping for ancient hero's bandana or a fucking hot shit active item. Now, is this a hot shit active item? I can't remember. I will take it to check. Ooh. Might not be hot shit. It might be one that I can only use once per floor. That's a shame. It might be one that I can only use once per floor. How are you not dead? Come on. Two shots of this thing. Three shots of this thing. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I may, I may have, I may have made a mistake there. This thing may not be as, as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. Thank you for that ammo. How are you alive? Down we go. See, get an extra chest for failing the rat fight on purpose. That's what I call smart. Very smart. Knowledgeable boy. Right, come on. Give us something crazy. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that I took the, took the Infinity Gauntlet and kind of forgot that it doesn't work the way I thought it did. Um... I think snow, snow bullets are going to be the best. They work with the AWP as well. They've got the synergy, haven't they? Yeah, nice. They're going to be really good with this thing because this thing's going to grow in size as it travels. And it travels a lot. Travels a lot and a lot. I mean, this thing does too. And this thing with the synergy makes it freeze and deal more damage, so... I'm pretty happy with this result. Pretty happy with this result indeed. Ow, how would I just walk into that? Let's just, let's save this to the boss though. Come on, the last floor, well, we've got bullet hell as well, but last two floors, give us something that's really worthy here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you just love it when you keep getting ammo back to back to back to back. Oh look, a key guy. The most worthless specimen in the gungeon. For rainbow runs at least. Bowler makes you useless. Sometimes I feel like the the shot bounces just tons, and then other times it doesn't really bounce at all, and I, I really don't know what's up with that. How? No aim assist on the rats. It's very difficult to uh, to hit those guys. Like, it downs like twice there. That time it bounced way more, though. It is peculiar. Nice. More ammo. Just keep it coming. We doing it big. We doing it big. Yeah, I forgot that the way that the uh, Infinity Gauntlet works is actually we have to have a, a Gwanstone, a glass Gwanstone for it to work. It doesn't just work automatically. But sadly, we have to deal with this bullshit. Gotta deal with this shit. Right. Oh my god. Hmm. Shouldn't... Do you know? I'm trying to think. In a speed run, if you don't have teleportation, if you don't have any kind of teleportation, is it actually faster if you've got the money? It's unlikely you'll get the money. But if you get the money, is it better to actually buy the rat key and go through the rat floor to skip the boss. And skip down to the next floor. It might actually be faster. It's very plausible that that's faster. Obviously, you've got to get the money, which seems like by far the hardest bit. But all you really need is a 50 casing. And I think it'd work. What the fuck's this thing? I mean, I kind of have to take this, don't I? 
Holy rounds. Bless you. It looks peculiar. This special ammo allows you to resist all forms of curse. Also increases the power of the weapon. Okay, so it seems to be a damage up and removes curse or de-jams enemies. It definitely doesn't de-jam enemies. It must just remove curse, but then how do we get a jammed enemy? Maybe he's a permanent jammed enemy. Probably a perma jammed enemy. Get this thing back out again. Unfortunately, we haven't got the, the star player items that I really wanted here. But we're doing well nonetheless. Considering the complete lack of ammo we have in the weapons we have, we've been doing pretty well. I mean, we have had to skip a few bits and bobs here and there, but it's been giving us what we want for the most part. Got a mini boss here that should die in like three hits, I think. If they all hit correctly. Yes. I know this guy's health. I know how much it takes to kill this bastard. I should have taken that for the AWP. I know this boy. Look at that. It's just whip, whap, whip, splap, boom. Right. Where is my dragon? Oh. All oh, the enemies died in one hit. Beautiful. Seven keys, though. This game's a troll sometimes. Your life's a troll. Do, 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 I think it'll be down this way, maybe. I've been going the wrong way all the time. We don't need to do that because the chest will give us nothing. Sad times. It's the only thing about Rainbow Mode. It really does cancel a lot of things. We're getting room drops like mental. I don't know what's going on, but we're getting so many room drops. How did you not die? God damn, another one. Another one. What? I killed the other two in there as well. Okay, apparently I was going the right way and I second guessed myself. Isn't that annoying? Lots of ammo down the drain there. I second guessed myself and I shouldn't have. This is going to be a room where we just kind of have to kind of wait on luck. Actually, there you go. We got the luck in the ammo drop. This thing was getting low. We'll take it for the off, but this thing's more fun. Love me a real gun sometimes. More ammo. There you go. This should kill everything. Nope. One guy just managed to make it out of that. And another blank. Look at the amount of blanks we've got. What's going on here? What is this game doing to me? What does it think this is? A keykin? I think I accidentally killed that guy there. If I was in the complete wrong direction, I still hit him somehow. I can't even complain. Damn it, it would have hit that ghost if you hadn't have fucking teleported away. If it wasn't for you meddling kids. Alright. Keep her going. What? You see that there? It didn't bounce at all. And that room was very easy. And here's the boss. Right. We'll, we'll finger gun gun. No, we'll, we'll, we'll AWP first. AWP does really good damage to this guy. Ooh, that skull just disappeared in time there. Just in time. Please, on the next floor, give me a great active item. Make, make the ring of triggers work. Give me the compass. Then I can find my way easier as well. Damn it. That was stupid. Oh, well. We got enough health to do this. We're fine. We've got enough blanks to do this. Holy hell, we got enough blanks to do this. Our blank situation was great. Absolutely fantastic. Come on, now. You're almost dead. Oh, this, this gun isn't even going to cut it. I thought this gun was going to slap this kid, but it isn't quite going to cut it. I'm going to need, like, a few of these. To be fair, with snow bullets, this thing's pretty insane. Now, unfortunately, I think the heart's going to be a bit of a bust. I think the heart's going to be quite difficult for us. Especially without full red hearts. We're going to have to rely on the railgun, which is going to use a lot more ammo. Which is the big sad. And I got hit again.
Oh god, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. It's doing no damage whatsoever. I thought the, the railgun was going to kind of destroy it and it'd like be a two-phaser. This could be a three-cycle. Oh my god, this could be a this could be a four cycle. This could easily be a four cycle. Now that's something you don't see every day. Actually, to be fair, we did we did see it not that long ago. It was only a few episodes ago we saw a four cycle. It might have even been last episode. Was it last episode? I never remember. Yep, it's a four cycle. Wow. Dragon's heart, Nevin to Nevin. What's Nevin? Never normally takes this long. But today is just one of those days. It's like, huh, sir, you've gone too fast this run. Slow down. Let's go and check the shop to see if there's any ammo in the shop. That would aid us greatly going forward. Right. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Do you know what? Why would we not buy, like, all of the, all of the armor, at least, and the HP? Ain't nothing stopping us. Ain't no stopping us now. Right. So, we're going to be almost entirely reliant on drops for ammo. Unless we get an absolute banger supreme right now. And I'm really hoping we do. If it's a gun that's really good, I'll take it. I'll take I'll take literally anything that's going to keep us going here. Because even though this run's been great up until now, we're starting to really feel, feel the pressure. Feel that pressure. Feel that pressure. So, unfortunately, none of these really satisfy satisfy what we need. So I think we're going to take this. Although it seems like a bad pick, we do have a damage up from the holy rounds. And I think it's ammo is just going to last us a little bit longer. While we try and wait for ammo drops to come for us. So what we'll do is we'll clear the stream out. And we'll actually, do you know what, I'll tell you what. Actually, I'm going to use it for these guys as well, because these guys are a pain in the ass. Good, good, good. Yeah, and then I'll switch to I'll switch to this thing, and we'll see if we run out of ammo on it. Why with all the blood blondes? Why with all the blood blondes? Hey, hey, hey. Bit of health. Love it. Just hopefully we can kill as many as possible in one shot. And then get the ammo to back us up. But so far, not so good. Damn it, didn't quite hit this guy. Who else is left? You. And got you. One guy left. Ammo. Key. That's not ammo. Game is confused. Health. At least we're going to have the sword if we keep our health going. I say that as I take myriad of hits. Three hits in one room. Good, good, good. I was trying to not use as much ammo. That obviously was not the right play. Oh my god, the health drops. You're killing me, health. Ow, I still got hit. Give me ammo. I need it. Oh my god, a key. This game. A damn key. What do you think this is, boy? I'm running out of ammo on this quick as well. We're running out of ammo real fast. That little fucking frog ball. Scaring the shit out of me. <gasps> Another key? I've got 13 of them, you fat fucking con. Oh my god. Give me what I need. Ammo. 
Getting testy now. Not gonna have anything to fight the boss with. Oh my god, what is this? This is unfair. Dodger or Brent's fighting against me. Oh, you shitbag. We're getting like a room. We're getting a drop every single room. I don't know what's giving us a drop every single room. I don't know what it is. There's some sort of thing that's massively up to our coolness. I was going to say, in fact, I'll check simple stats. I'd have it installed at the minute or Ammo. Really? I just lost my HP now as well. And this thing isn't even cutting it anymore. This is hard cheese right now. This game. This fucking game. I swear to Jeebus. Swear Jeebus. Won't give me what I want. Oh, and of course I roll into that bullet. Th Honestly, this could be a death. If we don't get ammo before that boss, this could genuinely be a death. Because I, I can't fight the boss if, I lo if, if I've got no armor and I lose my sword. Like, I, I lose my full health. I will die if that happens. I can't believe this easy peasy, great little run turned into this madness. And of course I lose more HP. Because this thing worked damn reload. Oh my god. You can't just keep giving me health. I don't need it. I have to go back. This is insanity. This is absolute insanity. Oh, oh, that was close. I almost walked directly into that. I can't believe we got so much when we didn't even need it, really. And now, it's like, nope. Sorry. Absolutely nothing. Armor. At least that protects our sword for now. Come on, game, why? And then a five casing payout. Oh, this is absurd. The Great Ammo Troll, 2009. Come on. More HP doesn't cut it, game. And I've just lost my armor. What are you doing in this corner? Another key. Another key. It's not what I need right now. Oh, there's an enemy behind me. He just spawned out of nowhere. He did the bitch. Another key. Another key for me. And I got hit. Oh god, this game is 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 fucking trying to cancel me right now. Trying to game end me. And then you need shot grub room. Oh my god, this room. I have to I had to. I'm I'm now dead. 
I'm now officially dead. I cannot get my health back. I have to fight the guy with the sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I genuinely thought I was just dead there. I thought that was it. We were done. If we didn't get ammo that room, and we got two. We got two. That would have been the end of us. That would have been a death. 100% that would have been a death. My god, that was insanely lucky. This ammo should... I can't guarantee it, but this ammo should carry us through the rest of this. This... We should use about half of this in the first phase. Around half on the second phase. Not going to be half, is it? Um, and then we got the orc for last... Yeah, it's not even going to be half. It's going to be, like, one more shot. Oh, thank Jeebus. I was getting real scared there. I was getting real scared. The Gungeon Jeebus. That was the biggest ammo troll of all time. I thought this, like, nice little neat, tidy, quick run. Speeding through it. Killing things easily. Having a great old time. And then the game goes and scares me like that. Absolutely spooked. Absolutely spooked. Ow, I had to get hit there. Gotta hit at the right angle, otherwise the shots just disappear and don't bounce around like crazy. I'm gonna blank that shit because that attacks the worst. The fucking worst. This should do it. Yes, yes, yes. Look how big that shot gets towards the end there. And we still have how many shots left? Over 10? Is that over 10? God damn, we have 18 shots left. We can we can easily do this last phase of these 18 shots then, can't we? Which is mental, considering we we thought we needed two ammo and we got we got two, and then one's doing it for us just fine. Oh my god! Oh my god! Blanket! I've got so many blanks. Use them. Thank you for doing this attack again. It's easy damage. It's free real estate. Oh boy. That was that was so scary towards the end there. But we managed to get eke out the victory. Get it done. And yeah. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That was a really good one. Considering we got to have loads of fun right at the start there. And then a real big panic right at the end. I mean that makes for a good episode I think. But yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one.